Hello everyone, I'm sure you all have these lights at home with the tube and they burn quite often so what you do <clears throat> you just go and buy a new one and they consume much more uh, power than uh, LED lights so instead of buying a new this tube there are few solutions you can do at home to replace this tube and go for a low voltage or you can use the LED on a high voltage now the first choice is what I found with this already finish it LED strips in the plastic see how they work they're quite powerful now this is the one solution you can even buy these small ones all depends on the length you can see they will fit two of them can fit on here now the other solution is another LED strip that also work on 12 volt you can glue on the side where the tube was in that small channel it is also very powerful and all this works on low voltage and here I have the usual LED strip but it is not quite that powerful so the best option will be this or this already finish it now this on the low voltage for high voltage I have managed to buy this LED strip on the aluminium small piece of aluminium strip and all I have to do I have to find some source of let's say high voltage because they are in series so I need at least 200 volts to power this strip now this is much more safer this one but since I get this LED strip I'm gonna replace you can see much difference now this one was around uh, 17 watts or 20 I don't know exactly this one will be around 8 watts with uh, the same amount of light and for the high voltage source I found this every Thursday people sell different things it's like something like a ferry with all things people don't need much so I use this I'm gonna stick it here in the middle because I, I have a hollow space I'll just put in there put the strip on the top I believe it will be perfect because the length match and then on these two wires I need to put some kind of switch and on these two wires I will solder the, solder the this LED strip now, as I said it works on high voltage so I do recommend if you don't find some of these you can very easily glue this it is much more simple and on low voltage so I'm gonna put my power inside solder the LED strip 
connect with that cable to the house grid and then we will see how it will work so I have solder the LED strip here is the power it barely fit on the angle on the inside because there are not too much space and just an average switch so let's power it and this is the high voltage so you have to be careful so let's see it is very powerful you can see not bad and also high voltage of course now I'm gonna try different now I'm gonna this strip looks the best so I'm gonna glue this to the back so we use only this 12 volt adapter and we'll see how it will work with uh, this so this time I didn't have to solder anything because the wire are already connected to that strip I just glue this strip to the back of this where the tube is around tubes and let's power it up you can see there is not much difference between the high voltage and this one so I think I'm gonna stay by this because it is safer on the 12 volt than a high voltage and the result is the same so all the rest is left is to put together I will just use the glue for this connector here and then simply when I need it I'll put some switch between to power it on and off like this one here so this is how you can fix the tube from a burnout light very easily and you just convert it to the LED LED because it is it saves power and the result is the same so you got the choice you can do it very easily at home all you need is to dismantle the old one that is burned out and simply use the LED strip that will work now as I said this one it's not much good because it is for a decoration or something on a Christmas now this one is much better because the LEDs are close together and they provide more light so my friends this is how you repair your burnout light very easily and convert it to the LED and it works so hope this will help you thanks for watching and bye